Hello everyone. So a little while ago, I made a video on how you can create QR codes in JavaScript using the QR code.js library. And I got a couple of comments back asking me, how can you read QR codes in JavaScript? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can do that. Now there is a native barcode detection API in JavaScript that you can use to read barcodes or QR codes. The problem is that it has very patchy browser support. So if I go to the bottom here, so you see that it's not supported in Firefox or Safari, and it only has partial support in many other browsers. So what I'm going to be using in this tutorial instead is a very useful library called HTML5 QR code, which you can find on the NPM website. So the major advantage of this package is that it supports different browsers. You can see here it's supported in Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Edge, and Opera. It supports QR code scanning from your webcam as well as from a local file. And it's also really easy to use. You don't need to write much code to get up and running with this library. Okay, so let's get started using this package. The first thing you need to do is to import it into your project. So you can either do that via a CDN link there is a CDN link provided on this page already. There it is. So you can copy and paste that into the head of your document and that's going to work. So what you need to do is just add a closing script tag there because that is missing or you can install it via NPM, which is what I'm going to do now. So to install it locally, what you want to do is to create a new folder somewhere on your system. So mine, is on my desktop here and then in your terminal whatever you're using set that as the current directory so you can drag and drop a folder there and you don't have to then write out the full path the next step is to create a new node project in that folder so if you're not sure whether you've already installed node you can type node hyphen v if it returns a version number then you're okay to go ahead with the next steps. Otherwise, you need to head to the Node website and download and install Node first. So it's free and I'd usually recommend downloading this stable version because it's less likely to have bugs than the latest version. Unless you want to use some sort of latest cutting edge features, I would recommend downloading this stable version on the left-hand side. Okay, now back in the folder on our desktop, Let's create a new node project. So you do that with npm init. And then if you say double hyphen y, this is going to create a new project accepting all of the defaults. So you don't have to sit here and press return through all of those. Okay, so now that the new node project has been created, we're ready to go ahead and install this package. So I'll just copy and paste that into my terminal HTML5 hyphen QR code. So give that a minute, that will install, and then we're ready to start using this package inside this index.html file that I created before we installed the node project. Okay, so now in Visual Studio Code, I've already opened the QR scanner and added it to a new workspace. So I have all the files available to me here, and I'm inside this index.html file. So the first thing I want to do is to import the package that I've just installed. So the SRC for this locally installed package is going to be inside node modules, HTML5 QR code. And you want to find this file here, the HTML5 QR code min.js. If you're using a CDN, then you just place the script linking to it here instead. Okay, so a good thing to do first of all is to check whether the constructor object that this library should make available to you is actually available to you in your script. So if it is, then it should be available here under HTML5 QR code scanner. So if we get something back for this in the console log, we know that the import has worked. If you don't see something like this, then you know that you have to go back and check the import steps. Okay, so now that I'm sure that the object constructor is available to me, I can start working with it. So I'm going to create 
a new scanner instance. So I can do that with an object constructor by using the new keyword in front of it. And I'll save a reference to this new scanner. And inside the parentheses is where I have to specify a couple of things. So first of all, I have to specify the ID of the element where I want the scanner to appear. So the ID is reader. And the second argument is an object where you specify some settings about how you want the reader to appear. Okay, so something you're going to want to specify here is the size of the QR box that's going to appear inside the video when you're trying to scan a QR code. So this is the little box where you can place the QR code and within this box, it's going to be able to be read. So you do that by setting a QR box property inside this object. And then inside there, nesting the values width and height in pixels. So in this example, I think the width of my reader element is 600 pixels. So for this, if the box within it is the size 250 by 250, it should be suitably smaller than the video stream from my webcam that's going to appear inside this reader element. Something else you can specify here is the frames per second for the video. So I'm going to set that to 20. Okay, so now that you've created a new QR code scanner instance, you're ready to actually start using it. So to start using it, you call the render method on the instance that you created. So I called mine scanner. And inside there, you want to make reference to two functions, a success function and an error function. So when there is a successful reading of a QR code, the success function is going to fire. And when there is an error, an error function is going to fire. So of course, we still need to define both of those. So we'll start with the success function. And what you have available to you here is the result of the reading. So if I say console log dot result here, this is going to log to the console the result of the reading if it happens successfully. Now, usually you won't just want to log the result to the console, you'll want to display the result to the user. So what I'm going to do here is to select the element in the document with an ID of result that we haven't touched yet. And I'm going to set the inner HTML to a template string. So if the reading is successful, I want a title to appear in there that says success. And after that, a paragraph in which the result of the reading is printed. So for that, I can interpolate some content by using the dollar sign and curly brackets. And that is going to be the result of the reading. So usually a QR code, it's actually a link. So what you might want to do here is to wrap the result in an anchor element and set the href on there to result using the same interpolation method as before. Okay, so once this result has been printed to the DOM, the QR code scanning has obviously been successful. So what I want to do is end the scanning. So I'm going to remove this instance entirely so that it stops using my camera. And I want to remove the reader element for the DOM with the UI that is injected by this library, because once the scanning is over, then that's no longer necessary. So the ID for that particular element is reader. And then I call the remove method on it to remove it from the DOM as far as the user is concerned. It still exists in JavaScript, the final thing to do is to define the error function. So you have available to you the error if there is one. And I'm just going to log that to the console using console.error. So this is a soft error. It won't stop your app working, but it will be highlighted in red. So it's clear to you that there has been an error. Okay, so let's see this in action now. So you can see there's an entire UI here 
this has been injected into the reader element by the library. I haven't done any of this in the code, so it's really nice and simple to get started. So if you want to scan in a QR code from a webcam, you need to first ask the user for permission. And then you should be able to start scanning in a QR code. So this is for some instructions for a Corona test. So this has successfully read it. And if I click on this link, it will take me to the website. Right? So you can see that this worked and we're on the page containing the instructions for this Corona test. And now for the other method, because you can also select a file locally and read that. So you get this nice interface here. You can drag and drop your image. I have one here on file. So this is one I created using QR code JS. So you see that it's linking to a blog post I wrote showing you how to generate QR codes. So you might be interested in that. Now, of course, in general, it can read all types of QR codes, not just ones I've created like the one that was linking to the instructions for a Corona test kit. So with this HTML5 QR code library, scanning a QR code is as easy as that. If you want to go further than I have in this tutorial with this package, or you have some niche usage for this package, then there are lots of options you can check out lower down on this page. Hopefully you'll be able to find what you're looking for. So that is it for this tutorial on QR code scanning with HTML5 QR code. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this from us in the future, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel.